Father, we acknowledge we have no power that is of our own. Father, say, anoint my lips of clay today. Father, as I declare your word, you say it is not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. We welcome your workings in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, before I get into uh, my presentation, I will just give us a summary of what we did in evangelism 2023. 2023, as Bulawayo province, we had uh, three crusades. We did Luveve Crusade, we did Gulumani Crusade, and we did Mkanwini. You know, when you are doing something, you need to learn from what you have done. I, I will speak a little bit about Mkanwini, because our highlight was Mkanwini Crusade. Mkanwini Crusade did not attract a lot of people. But there was something amazing that happened in Mkanwin. We had about 43 people who gave their life to Jesus in the three days. And uh, shockingly, 34 of those people were men. So you can see that there was something unique about Mkanwin crusade. And I understand when they were doing follow-ups, they were now getting families because men had gotten themselves born again. So it tells us we need to have a new strategy as a church. Not saying we don't want oh mama basindi so hatch. But I learned something when a man is born again a family is born again. A mother can be born again. Uzabuya labandwa. Ubaba elayezela. Hali fike li skule again. Hamfundi santi ngali nigo mam. But when a man gets born again, when a man has a relationship with God, it cascades to the whole family. So, that's what happened in M. Kanwini. Because the, and also, God is faithful. I'll give you one miracle that happened in M. Kanwini. There's this young man who came to the crusade. He was born again. Ah, what a good seas, la mapostoli. Waluzi maline came to the crusade, was prayed for. In two days, he says to the pastor, through prayer only, I have lost it so much. The owner phones and says, I am come as soon as born again. Any one be feel, but as soon as born again. That I was not giving you for all this time. So the man was amazed. Where I spent no cent, my things have moved. Where I spent money, nothing moved. So sometimes it's not where you pay, where you, re, you, you, you get your miracle. The things that are looked down upon. The Bible I read says God uses the despised things. Those things that are looked down upon. That's what God uses. So it matters. People of God. Sometimes you witness to people. You don't see what has happened. But a lot is happening. I know we're living in the wrong era. Where people love things that are tangible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Zero, zero, zero. But it was a humble year. But I read from my Bible, he says, all things will pass away. What will remain is the word of God. 
So we need to be able to ground people on the word. Not on what they see and what they get. Okay, let's get into the word of God. And also the other highlight, uh, we did some musicals in uh, a number of schools and uh, colleges. We're in UCE, we're in Hillside. Uh, we did, uh, I think, Msiteli, Makwekwe, secondary schools. So the gospel must move on. Uh, maybe I'll begin from our theme scripture for this year. Who knows our theme scripture for this year? Some will call it our theme scripture. Some will call it the prophetic word. I think we will engage today. Second Kings chapter 13. Now Elisha was suffering from the illness from which he, he died. Joash, king of Israel, went down to see him and wept over him. My father, my father, he cried, the chariots and the horsemen of Israel. And Elisha said, get a bow and an arrow. And he did so, take the bow into your hand. He said to the king of Israel, when he had taken it, Elisha put his hand on the king's hands. Open the east window, he said, and he opened it. Shoot, Elisha said, and he shot the Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Aram. Elisha declared, you will completely destroy the Aramites at Apex. Then he said, take the arrow. And the king took the arrow. And Elisha said to the king, strike the ground. He struck it three times and stopped. The man of God was angry with him and said, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you should have defeated Aram and completely destroyed it. But now you will defeat it only three times. Elisha died and was buried. Now Moabites, raiders, used to enter the country every spring. Once while the Israelites were burying a man, suddenly they saw a band of raiders. So they threw the man's body into Elisha's tomb. When the body touched Elisha's bones, the man came to life and stood up on his feet. Uh, then Acts chapter 1. Verse 6, so when they had met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or deaths the Father has set by his authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. The Lord bless the reading of his word. 
I said the Lord blessed the reading of his word. Uh, there's something I see from the word of God. Maybe from our theme scripture. The Bible talks about Elisha when he was about to die. But today I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about evangelism. When he was about to die, the king comes to Elisha to say to Elisha, he, he, he comes with a cry, my father, my father, the chariots and the horsemen thereof. Let me tell you, Israel was fighting a physical battle. But they depended on the anointing upon a prophet to fight and win that physical battle. But we are fighting a spiritual battle. Evangelism, take it as a battle. And it's a spiritual battle. Because it is a spiritual battle, you cannot fight it on your own and win. It's a spiritual battle. Bringing many to salvation is a spiritual battle. Because it is a spiritual battle, for the physical battle, when Israel was fighting Syria, Elijah says to the king, when the king was crying, Elisha did not feel pity for himself. We feel pity for ourselves. But Elisha said to the king, get your arrow. I came to tell someone, get your arrows. We are in Becky. We want to bring souls into the kingdom of God. So get your arrows. You cannot go to Becky without an arrow. So he says, take your arrow. The first thing that Elisha says to the king, he says, open the window eastwards and they shoot. Open the window. The first thing when you are going for evangelism, for outreach, is to address the spiritual things. Address the spiritual first. Win your baby in the spiritual realm. Sometimes we get defeated. So the king, first, he says, put your hands upon your arrow. Then the prophet puts his hands upon the hands of Elijah. Uh, the hands of the king, sorry. God must put his hands upon your hands. That happens in the closet, in your prayer time. Someone says champions are not made in the ring. Sometimes we hear, uh, especially those that are wrestling, aren't you? You just hear them talking. No, it's not about talking only. He knows He knows what he has done with the, his trainers out there where no one is seeing. But many a times as people of God, we want to do things that are seen by everyone. You cannot win by show of you must win in your closet. You must win in your prayer room. When you now say, I am going out, go equipped. So the king was saying, the Elisha was saying to the king, okay, you came crying to me, but it's not time for crying. It's time for equipping. We came here to be equipped. 
Maybe abanyo bati haya ngailoni ya kakuya tuwa singa khambi. Ku outreach, singe nzama crusade. Sometimes we pray that, eh? Ngabe, ngaba bafundi siba koshwa uwe nzama crusade. Ngaba bafundi siba koshwa kusibiza kuma school uh, outreaches. Alonya ka soze skoshwe. What we will do, we will do more. When he had put his hands upon him, he said, shoot through the east gate window, representing the spiritual, the anointing. Let me say this, family covenant leaders, you are anointed. Maybe no one has ever told you. You are anointed. But the question I have for you, what are you doing with that anointing? Let me shock you. I also, there was a time I never thought I was anointed. I prayed for the crippled men. Sometimes, sometimes God shocks you. The very person that will be praying. But you'll be saying, God, do a miracle. In Ismangas school. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Because sometimes the reason we are not used by God is because of our unbelief. God is the apple. I said you are anointed. You are anointed. You sit under the anointing. Because you sit under the anointing, you are anointed. Okay, I will come back. Where I read in Acts of the Apostles, they come to Jesus and say, Jesus, is it time to restore Israel? Then he says, no, 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 no. It's not for you to know. The times and the seasons and the deaths where God will do whatever he will do. But he says something powerful in verse 8. He says, but you will receive power. But you will receive power. How many people pray in the Holy Ghost here? Let me tell you what you are doing. You are generating power. Because he says you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Which means you are generating kilowatts of power. But my question is... What are you doing with that power that you are generating every day? Abanya, you pray in tongues more than you pray with your understanding and they sit down at home and do nothing. But Jesus says you shall receive power. Then after that you will be my witness. You don't need power when you are not a witness. What is that power for? For display. You shall receive power. And then you will be my witness. In Jerusalem, do your neighbors know who you are? Let me say that one again. Do your neighbors know who you are? Because your neighborhood is your Jerusalem. Do your neighbors know who you are? Let me say this. If you know that tightly you go to fundies, now go get a month to go visit some fundies. You are joking. I think the days you go to see Bambatane was alone is over. Because we are living in the last days. He says in the last days, the mountain of the house of God shall be exalted above every other mountain. Let me tell you, you are that mountain. You are that answer that God has put in that society. We are called to be witnesses. For Christ. He says you are a written epistle. Written not of ink, but of the spirit. 
read by all men. Gubuzem Christu, what are people reading in your life? What is the community reading from you? He says you shall receive power. After that, you become a witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, even to the uttermost part of the world. If you are a witness, I'm an unseven simple poem. I'll pele lempo poem. Utwe Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, to the ends of the earth. Nambona banya nga tuwa kombayi nse visa wabon. Ba pelele Jerusalem. They cannot go to Judea, Samaria, to the end of the earth. He says you shall receive power, then you will become. Church, we need to become. Let me say, outreach must be your lifestyle. Witnessing must be your lifestyle. Depopulating hell and depopulating heaven. So, witnessing must be a lifestyle. It, you, 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 you must not think twice about it. Because it must be like breathing. How many people think twice? What should I breathe? Should I not? I had, I had someone talking. Ngomuntu waya se zuluti. Ah, utonde uku pefumula. Unga tonde uku pefumula kwenza galani? Aha. Unga tonde uku witnessa kwenza galani? You die spiritual. You know, there is joy that comes with seeing people coming to salvation. You cannot explain it. That joy must come from within because you are doing what you have been called to do. When Elisha had put his hands upon the king and said, shoot to the east, he shot. He says, then now strike. I said you have been anointed. But now the prophet is saying strike. The other thing, the, the first one was done by the anointing. The second one must be done by you. It's you who is supposed to strike. It's you who is supposed to open your mouth and talk to a sinner. Let it speak to me. Let it... He has given you a commandment, strike. Strike. When you see a sinner, when you see someone, uh, let me tell you, sometimes I'm a sinner as the church are called. Eh? I'm a sinner as the church are called. Eh? I'm a sinner as the Because you look at what the person is doing. Does it agree with the faith that he's confessing? If it does not agree with the faith that they are confessing, they are still a sin. They need to be preached to. But let me say it again. Let me say that one again. We have sinners who are in church. Being a sinner is doing contrary to what God wants. So the issue that is there, the prophet says to, to the king, strike. The, the king strike three times and stopped. Sisalasile hist and sasi witinesa. 
Nyagwazi nga ungati amen abasu zuba wanti nkulumangawo. Sasi, when you come to that level where you say we used to, we used to, then what happened? I will tell you what happened. You got called. What and I say this the other time. In church, many people complain more about pastors, and eh? it's easy to complain about pastors, eh? Ah, these days ah, they are not fired up. They are not firing with all cylinders. But let me tell you what happens. My teacher, I've told you, I grew up in a rural setup. You cannot make fire with one log. Should I say that one again? You cannot make fire with one log. Even when the fire, the pastor comes, what? When the whole congregation is called, guess what will happen? But it's in a quezella from all directions. There will be fire in church. If we send people everywhere out, they go witnessing. They will come back like the, the 72, like the 12. They say, even demons were subject to us. When you have such a congregation, which says even the demons were subject to us, you are having a fiery church. So, let outreach be our lifestyle. Let witnessing be our lifestyle. We will have a firing church. Unless we fire with all cylinders. You are part of the cylinder of the car that is called the church. If you are, not, if you are misfiring, we will misfire as a church. So don't misfire. Fire, don't misfire. So he says strike. The Bible says he's, he, he, he striked for three times. Got tired. But the prophet was very angry. Very angry. There can be an argument. Ah, Peter Gamji out a chairanga. But just come in Wagula Ma Aromanga. Ah, read about those guys. Wagula is Kwama Sama Ar. He said, Take your arrows and shoot and strike the ground. Take your what? Your arrows. God does not say, Take something that He did not put inside you. Yeah. When He says, Go out, the thing that you will use out there is Him who has put it. We are keeping them. The arrows are there. Your duty is to fire. Your duty is to strike. So, 2024, strike. Strike. Don't reserve anything. The Bible actually says he stopped. He stopped. Let me show you. If you read about the, 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 the widow who came to Elisha and said, my husband uh, was a great man. He died. Uh, he left me with a debt and the debtors have come to take up my children to be their slaves. Did you hear what the, Elisha said? He says, go borrow vessels. Many, not a few, as long as there was a vessel to pour on, the anointing yeah. did not stay. The anointing can only stay when you are no longer using it. When you are still saying there is one more person to witness to, the anointing will be there. As long as you are saying, I can tell this other one, the power in the anointing will be there. What makes it stay is when you say, ah, there is no more vessel. There is no more sin. Why should God give you ability? Imagine. 
Utekshua se nge so. Uti ena. Wangi fundisa matlaba. Wangi fundisa intuwe zishene. Koto wazangu njele ngo jesu. Nikala ngawe. Nise suwokwe ni koto wankala ngawe. How many people will say to God, kunungkulum nangabe ngasindiso, lo wae ngumgano, amga nchelang. Kang nchelang. Had they told me, I was going to repent. Imagine, Elisha died with the anointing because no one was willing to take what God has put in Elijah. Before Elijah died, Elijah said, I need a double portion. Before Elijah died, two people missed the anointing. What man and each year, okay, has, okay, has what she missing Zuzo more than what he was called for. Lost the anointing. What man and each year, Linkosi, he strikes but three times and and the stays. Say, ah, which happens? Which happens? Which happens? But it means a lot to God. Aba nyaba kala utwa, hayikuti grupi ya misiba luchwana. Strike the ground. Do you want more people? Strike the ground. I know when you have one abalama abalabantu abane utangabe siya share. Let me tell you the problem of sharing people. Later, if you have 50 people, they are yours. Don't share them. There are still more sinners out there, more than what is in your group. Because unga share lu munto ngela peten le capacity. He will destroy those people nigebol. Not only three members, some people say the three foot to cut to Niger ten. Katabanya Bayenga. Ah, Lavana Velo Nigaba Supai. I said, I said this last year. Let me say it again. Unga Niger. Um mama, um to ananga mzalang, we am sugumes. But sugumes am zele, lialo. Is it true, bo mam? Nine as a long I am no problem. But in nine months, leba. Was October Baba, the good how was the umhelo. Even in churches like that, gula bantu abafunu ku benefita kwa tabafunu kuye lepa hot. You cannot bring extra life into the world without going to the lepa hot. You need to lepa for the salvation of people. You need to lepa for the growth of the house of God. So, today I came to do a simple thing. I am calling lepers. I could not want to have a funny stallo. Could have a funny stallo, but to Ellen Alem Tabel. In church, I will as stallo. Gulem Tanyelo. Sing Abalem Tanyelo in the FCC. These days I'm preaching about the servant leadership. In church, there are no positions. In church, according to my knowledge, there are no positions. There is work. They are workers. He says, behold, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. He never said the bosses are few. The laborers be a laborer. Can you afford to be a leper? What do you say? Is Kunda Nigabani? 
Mina umsebenzi lao. Mina umsebenzi nilao. Aba zalo na bazizu. Libi zelwe umsebenzi. Let me tell you. I have never heard about the leader's crown. I have never heard about the pastor's crown. I've never heard about the pastor's crown. But I have heard about the soul winner's crown. Those that turn many to righteousness shall shine like stars. God is calling you to turn many to righteousness. I can look at one thing. was good It's okay in the companies there. O CEO, be sita unga zuguti ni mubai. But it's wrong for a leader in the house of God to say to people, you don't know who I am. We know you, you are a leper. That's the description we have about you. If you have another one bigger than that, tell us. But God called leperas. God called brooms. Outreach. Kat ama yutanga. Ha pilat nyase singabatal. Shua. Singabatala bagam kulunkul. Pilapas kuma wam seven zigam tal. Mas singabatala tina. Um talage. We, we need to understand. Um talan mas kuma um seven zgaba bankai. O ankai. Nkaya ny um tala. Nyati bafana is an lok lok. But nasem figan jin gang kulunkulu. Nyzegu gum tal. If I believe in Tala was in so, why a corner man do? Um Sabunga Gabi call. Manja Nasa Lem Seven Zinigam Tala singing Um Tala, who's a humbanjan. Jesus, the Bible says, though he was God, he humbled himself even to the death of the cross. He humbled himself. He says, because of that, let me tell you, church, why we are not doing so much. In outreach, we lack humility. Sometimes as a church, we lack humility. But, ah, uh, I mean, I uh, know. Try the boys. But there are no boys in church. Uh, maybe I read, maybe a scripture among is valid. Those that received him, he gave them power to be what? Sons, children, children can be sent around. The day, the day your title becomes bigger than it, the work of God, we are in trouble. Ah, let me finish. The day you hear people say, in and in Zaboni. And it's, uh, you can't do that to me. Ah, when I read about Jesus, I said, but I can't say this statement. Jesus said, God forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Which means, Babe means Allah is in. Which is what means is in. Abe says, it's not the sense that just like a nasty man. If they are doing this to me, how will they do it to you? They did it to Jesus. Do what you are going to answer for. Let me tell you, you will answer. The people that you met that you were supposed to witness to and you did not witness for, to them, you will answer before God. You will answer. He will say, Ngayenza wa shangana lalumuntu. 
you did nothing about it. Nyenza washanga na lalumut, you did nothing about it. But let me say this. Do that which you ought to do. Be a witness. He says, don't worry about what you are going to say. Open your mouth and I will fill you. Let me tell you, if you tell a sinner John 3.16, they will get saved. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16, because it's the word of God. Don't even look to be complicated. Abanye were not witnessing because we're saying, Mfunukuskala mfige la pana. Where are you? Ngabi. Ask the footballers. Aumele lukutu utu kabe njengo mesu kuzu kali suku katle li pora. Ukalu katle li pora. Utu li kabu kangelele lona liyele. You start there. Then they tell you, good, no, you are not supposed to use your side foot. You are supposed to use the top of your foot. So, we are called to be witnesses. We are called to make a difference in Bulawayo. In 2024, 20, make a difference. I said we'll have a lot of crusades. But let me say this. As I come to a close, I was not told how time, so I am, but I'm closing. <laughs> I discovered many times, sometimes we have crusades, and our retention rate is very poor. It's not because a crusade does not work. I said it's not because a crusade does not work. I told you about M. Kanuine. Why it made M. Kanuine work? Before we did M. Kanuine crusade, we had two months of workshops. We did deliverance workshop. We did ushering workshop. We did a lot of workshops so that people are able to contain the fruits. Because sometimes... You see a lot of people before the crusade. I'll tell you in mistake. We did a powerful crusade in Luvev. And a lot of people got born again. Some fundis. You have more than 100 people, follow them on your own. One fifth, follow them on your own. Where 43, pe 43 people were got, got, got born again, we had a better retention than where we had 150. Because of the method that we used. So if we create the container first, we will make a difference. We will have impact in Bulawayo. So, in our symbols, let's create a container for the souls. <laughs>